This is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com at the 2021 Mopar Nationals over here in Carlisle. We're going to do some car shopping here. We're going to start with the 73 uh, Plymouth Roadrunner. Actually, it's a GTX. In 73, the 440 got marked off as a GTX. It's an automatic, green interior. Coyote, I guess, got squished there. Some rust down on the rockers. We got some rusting on the inner uh, wells over there. This is 73, so I started getting anemic. But it's a bit unusual. Guy says it's under 100 and, uh, 750 were made this year. That always disturbs me. The other side seems, eh, all right. You got some crispiness underneath. It's asking 24,000. Let's keep going, shall we? Let's check out the 66 Dart Convertible. Oh, this is cool. I love these compact convertibles. 273 under the hood. Bulletproof motor. Manual brakes, manual steering. Careful on that back window. You want to fold that under. Get rid of these wrinkles before you fold it. Somebody grab that end over there. Hang on. This has power top, automatic. It's got that musty convertible smell. The top and the window is good. Solid down below. It's been painted. Obviously, it does look original. You can see the pinning over there. Look at the fit. It looks like it might have been. Might have been in a rear collision. I'm not quite sure. At one point in life. Yeah, this thing's been worked. I'll show you why. Right over here, you see wrinkles. Right there, where you really shouldn't. Same thing on the other side. You see a door fit over there. I'm not going to go crazy looking over. That's what the guy's asking. Asking 17, oops, 17,950. Uh, bit optimistic. Yes, good daily cruiser, but uh, I'm not sure at that price. I'm not excited. Check out this other Dodge convertible over here. Let's see if we've got some information on her. Of course, in 1964. Nice full size. Good top. It's got a little bit of problems on the rockers. You can see it over there. Tips look good. Looks nice. Chrome is decent. Stainless is good. Been repainted definitely. Ah, shoot, no price on it. Let's see if we get some information. That starts up nice. Hear that tick? That's normal. A little bit of lifter tick. That's not unusual. It starts right up. That's nice. That is nice. It didn't look like that, but he had it to me. 
And he's asking 30 for it. What do you think, folks? This 1960 Fury is just... I would put a plexiglass hood on this thing. I love the excellent forward look. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at these details. Just accentuating everything. That is so cool. Coming up right over the brow and right in the details. But under the hood, the engineers bless this car with the sexiest intake manifold ever. This is gorgeous. The infamous cross ram, long uh, cross ram. It was a shorter one which actually outperformed this one. But this still looks so nice. This is the 413. It's attached to a 727. But this is beautiful. Power steering, power brakes. You see the old power brake unit. Again, 1960 Fury. I love that. Sonoramic Commando Power. How 50s can you get? Excellent. Love. Asymmetrical. I love that seat, but this is just, look at that steering wheel. The clear plastic with the glitter inside. Jet aged horn ring. Wow. There's your push button over there. The complimentary heat over there. The uh, metallic threads throughout. Need a little story about the uh, metallic threads, by the way. They were tested with minx, minx stoles, so it would not pinch the fur. What a line. This car has had some strange body work. Look at that. And of course, going back to the iconic fins, marked off again, 1960 Fury. That roof line is just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. What a car. What a car. So what do you think, folks? It's asking 32.5, which, well, you know, the body is that rough. I would say, meh, but it still is sexy.